Good morning, Charles. It's Jeff and Debbie. We're out here at the uh, Gold Canyon property on Azul. Uh, it's in the back of a cul-de-sac. Uh, this is a little road back here that goes ahead and leads out. That's almost a small community dirt park back out there. And this is a little misleading. I and mean, when you think of Gold Canyon, this is probably about seven miles past all of Gold Canyon. You're probably at least 12 miles from the closest grocery store. This is a little subdivision just six miles down the highway from anything. So this is really out of the way and actually we even have no cell service out here. So it's built in 07, you know, 1700 square feet. You got a little uh, entry gate going in here, you know, little architecture. It's got the security screen so you can get some cross ventilation. As you come in, you do have the uh, mosaic here on the tile. And then this is more of a little round rotunda area as you come in. It does have the larger diagonal tile, does open up to just a large uh, dining area opening up to a family room. So there is no formal area. So it is maybe a little, you know, better use of the space. Uh, a little bit of rounded architecture as you come in. Here's the kitchen. It does have the uh, granite with the uh, little porthole windows on the side, the uh, tile backsplash and the stainless appliances. This is 100% electric house, so you have the smooth top stove, and it's a gas. It's an electric uh, water heater, so there is no gas here. It is all electric. These are some nice so uh, window blinds, window coverings uh, with the louvers, uh, maple cabinets. Uh, they're not real large. I mean, they only look like maybe the 24-inch uppers. I mean, a lot of times you might get a 36 or a 42. So the cabinets don't look real, real large in here. You do have the little, like we said, the little arches, a little bit of vault, a little bit of architecture. And then you got a small pantry right here. Um, again, you know, diagonal tile throughout the main walk areas. Uh, the paint job is two-tone. They do have a two-tone right here. I mean, normally you'd see a chair rail and you'd normally see that paint maybe a little higher up. But I mean, paint is easy. Um, in the, uh, well, let's just go this way. It was built in 07, so you've got, you know, programmable modern thermostats. Again, you know, we've got the uh, arches, you know, a little bit of architecture. You've got a little bit of maple cabinetry right here on the way into the uh, guest bathroom. Again, the diagonal tile, the tub shower, you know, combo, and uh, one sink here for the uh, guest bathroom. Uh, the tile is through the main, you know, main walk areas, so the only carpets here are the three bedrooms. So you do have the... Uh, Wood window blinds, you've got the uh, ceiling fans and uh, mirrored closets there. So this would be bedroom one. Here's bedroom two. You know, same setup. And you do have the uh, panel doors with the lever handles, so that's a little bit more modern. Um, home doesn't, you know, feel like it's been used too much. I mean, it's gently, you know, definitely feels gently used. Uh, you got a small closet over here for the uh, master. And then uh, you do have the diagonal tile. Again, you've got a little niche in here with the uh, maple cabinetry. And then uh, dual sinks. You've got a single sink here. You've got the uh, soaking tub. You do have the uh, shower with the uh, extended tile surround up there. Uh, the commode area to the side. And then here's the other bath. So you've got his and her sinks. So let's see how big your closet is over here. So the closet does have the mirrored door, and it is a you know, full walk-in back here. So it's just a small mirrored door at this point, but it actually does have some depth to it. So we'll go back, look through the family room, go outside. Um, the garage is just right through here, right through your laundry room, passes right through. There is an alarm system that does not seem to be hooked up. Those are insulated roll-up garage door. You do have the epoxy-coated floor. Uh, seems like just a standard small two-car. There's not a lot of extra depth anywhere. Back there in the corner, you do have a water softening system also. So on the way out, they do have the freestanding stove, which is a little odd when you know you kind of you know the architecture on that I mean it seems like something you'd see in something a lot more rustic 
as compared to you know a newer home with this type of architecture, this type of uh, stucco finish, and uh, you know the diagonal tile. I don't know if it really fits in with you know the whole decor and everything. They do have a window air conditioner popped in right here. Um, if we go out, slider does go out to the backyard. Uh, it is tiled, so they did tile the patio. There's a couple different levels. They do have a barbecue right here. And actually, that's not an air conditioner. That's actually a swamp cooler they have right there. So the air conditioner for the house is back behind. This, what's going in this window, is actually an evaporative cooler. So they have a big evaporative cooler built right into that window. So uh, here's the backyard. You got a tall wall on that side, and then they get a little smaller. Uh, you do have some mountain views, but then again, you are very, very out there with this home. This home is very, very rural. This is not close to anything, and the subdivision is not either. So uh, we will get this video sent out, but uh, hopefully this gives you a better perspective than some pictures, and we're glad to do it. Look forward to meeting you guys. Talk to you later. Thank you.